Welcome again. In this lecture, we will generate the mesh. All of us know that the mesh is a way to convert the physical or actual domain to a computational domain by discretization, which means subdividing the domain to a small divisions in which the partial differential equations will be calculated. Always researchers ask about how we could generate a good mesh but I think that we should understand the main parameters in the mesh process at first so as we said in the mesh we subdivided the domain to small elements these elements commonly could be triangular or quadratic on a 2d plane and the difference between these two shapes is in how they express the change of a parameter, in our case the temperature, as a polynomial. However, you can notice that the quadratic element cover larger area than the triangular one. And that's why we always prefer to use quadratic elements, because it will cover the domain with a less number of elements than the triangular shape. That will lead to reduce the required memory used for solution and as a result the computation time. Now, let us just take a quick look about how the parameter will be calculated inside the element. For triangular element, answers support two element orders, the linear and the quadratic orders. In the linear order, the property temperature will be distributed inside the element by using this equation one. In the quadratic order, the temperature will be varied inside the element by using equation 2. So increasing the order will increase the complexity of the solution, but it is not really related to the, to the accuracy. In fact, as we will solve Fourier's law for conduction heat transfer in the simulation, which is already a linear equation, so the linear order will be more suitable for the mesh elements. Also for quadratic shape, the element could be in a linear or quadratic order. However, now you know what element order means and the element shape effect. Let us talk about the mesh methods. There are several methods available for meshing a body in ANSYS. The tetrahedrons method, in which triangular elements are used for creating your mesh. Hexdominant method would generate meshes where hexahedral elements dominate. But this method does not mean that all of your elements will be hexahedrons. You will still certainly observe many triangular elements in the mesh geometry. Swift method. A swift mesh refers to the method in which a face of volume is meshed with high quality quadrilateral elements and then swept through the body creating a volume mesh. Multi-zone, it is used when you are meshing single body that is too complicated for the traditional swept approach. The multi-zone mesh method provides an automatic decomposition of geometry into swippable regions and free regions. Alright, I know it was a little boring, so let's move on to the answers.